Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So it is the week before Thanksgiving and I hope you guys are really ready and super excited for the yummy food that we're about to eat and I hope you guys are able to get together with all of your family and friends. Um, and if you don't have special people to spend this holiday with, well then I hope that you take some time for yourself. Do something for yourself that's sweet and kind this year. Um, anyway, so I, we have um, in our homeschool co-op, we have a Thanksgiving party that's coming up and we were invited to decorate a table as a part of a contest for our co-op. Um, and so I'm going to share this with you guys, how I'm going to be decorating our table because I'm going to do this in a very, very inexpensive way. And I'll probably be, probably be using disposable, um, plates and stuff like that for this particular tablescape, because like I said, it's for a party. It's going to be a lot of kids and stuff like that. So I thought that this would be something maybe that would help you guys if you guys are looking for inexpensive ways to decorate your tables for this Thanksgiving. So let's go ahead, let's get started and let me show you what I've purchased so far and um, we'll do this together. So first off, I learned that we are going to be using 10 foot tables um, as a part, that's what's at the facility that we're using. But the girl that's in charge said that we could just, you know, decorate decorate it and have place settings for like six to eight if we, you know, chose because that's what we originally thought that we were gonna have. So that's all I'm doing. I think I'm just gonna set a place setting for eight. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna try and use pretty much what I have. But I'm gonna go ahead and practice here in the dining room at the farmhouse because I want to make sure that I have an idea um, instead of just going in there totally blindly and just doing it. So the first thing that I purchased was they have these little black and white um, like gingham paper tablecloths at Walmart. They're only $2 a piece. The thing is, is they're only 88 inches long. And so that's definitely not long enough. They're 54 inches wide. But for $2, I went ahead and bought three of them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I like this. Now obviously my table here at the farmhouse is an oval. Um, and I'll be using those, you know, those typical like rectangle tables that you see at like banquet facilities and stuff like that. So obviously it's gonna be a little bit different, but I just wanna make sure that I'm getting a good idea. So when you're doing this, you obviously want to make sure that you have even spacing on each side of the table because that is like one of my biggest pet peeves. <laughs> um, especially if you are, if you're going to be using the inspiration that you find on this video and you're gonna be maybe decorating you know, for a church banquet or something like that, and you're using separate tablecloths for each table and they're all gonna be lined up, make sure that they match because the table runner that I have had on the table for all of Thanksgiving and fall season, I'm gonna go ahead and use this on here. This is, like I said, something I've already had. So I know that I need to put, like what's gonna be my centerpiece is kind of where I'm at right now. I know that I want to use the whole, because like I said, this is, it's for adults, yes, but there's also gonna be children there, so I kinda wanna make this a little bit more kid-friendly, obviously the disposable plates and stuff like that, but I also wanna make it fun for the kids. I want it to look pretty and eye-pleasing, but super cute for the kids too. So I'm trying to think, I know I want turkey, which I have a big old turkey. Um, hmm, okay, so let's go and let's use some stuff that I have around the house. I have this um, beautiful, big old vase here that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and it's been on display here in the dining room with the fall leaves in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I like this in the center. So um, I have this garland here, as you can see, it's just the greenery with pine cones. And I purchased this from Walmart last year. Um, it's a really nice garland. I was really happy with the quality of it. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's got kind of like, um, oh, I don't know if that's like a spruce or whatever, and then it's got the pine bows, boughs, or whatever they're called as well. But I thought about going ahead and using this as like the base for whatever I do on the tablescape as far as like putting leaves and stuff like that in, just because this can kind of go Christmas or Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see what this looks like. Okay, so everybody probably has this leaf garland. This came from Hobby Lobby. Um, I have so many of these, I absolutely love them. They are probably one of my most favorite, easiest fall decor pieces. If you guys don't ever buy these, I highly recommend them. I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby even has them anymore, um, being that their Christmas stuff is even 50% off. 
So next year though, they have these every year. They're very inexpensive. I think they're like maybe buy, or I'm sorry, maybe like, maybe like 10 bucks, I think. And then of course, you know, when their fall goes half off, five bucks and it's just, they're beautiful. The colors are beautiful. They're very realistic. They're just beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place these in with the greenery. And making sure that I pull the greenery up and over to kind of connect them. I don't want to just lay it on there. I want to make it look like it was supposed to be there. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Like I said, just bring some of the greenery up and over, tuck some of the leaves under. So you look like, you know, you've made, it's all one piece. Um, there is kind of a lot going on. So I'm not sure if I'm digging that or not. I may remove this. Um, I just think there's too much. I think I like the garland and the leaves but I don't think that I like the vase here. It's just, it's too much, too many leaves, I guess. So let's go ahead and start using, putting some risers in, I think, because I'm gonna go ahead and get my turkey and I got a cornucopia and stuff like that that I'm gonna use, so we're gonna see how this plays out. This is a really big turkey that I have. Um, I've had him for, I think, a year or two. He came from TJ Maxx this um little brown fur tree skirt that i picked up oh my gosh i have had this thing for years and years and years and have never used it it came from kmart literally i mean this is like forever ago it's one of those mini tree skirts i think i'm gonna use it for underneath of the turkey on that riser i know one thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and place some of these like faux corn husk flowers and stuff like that I picked these up from Walmart this year. <laughs> I actually used them and tore them apart because I used them in one of my son's Halloween costumes. He was kind of like a scary jack-o'-lantern, scarecrow type of a guy. And he had these like shoved in his shirt and stuff like that. But anyway, um, I like them. They were Walmart, they were very inexpensive. So I'm gonna place these kind of in, just add a little bit more of a brighter color, especially because my turkey is ivory colored. Okay guys, so uh, let me get you off of here and show you what it's looking like so far. So I'm really liking it, it's very busy, but if you know anything about me, you know that I like busy. <laughs> so as you can see, I've left this here, so we're gonna put something here, I'm not sure what yet. Um, I've, Like I said, I've got some pilgrims, I've got some little Indians, and so I want, do want to incorporate them in here. Um, but also, just wanted to remind you, even though I'm kind of facing more like this side because my, my turkey's kind of facing this way, don't forget about the other side because obviously you're gonna have people sitting over there. So I kind of just placed one of the, um, like the faux corn husk type of um, picks that I got from Walmart. I placed one of those over there and there's some leaves over there as well. So I've got these super cute little pilgrims. I've had these forever. I actually use them on the table here in the dining room. So uh, I think I'm gonna place these on the riser over here. Super cute, I'm, I'm liking that. So I think over here, I'm actually gonna put on the other end, I'm gonna put the Indians. Go ahead and place the plates out. So I did buy this, these plates from Walmart. Like I said, they're disposable. They're super pretty though. Okay, so something else fun that I just thought of, I think I'll do. Um, I picked up this super cool Native American mug from the thrift store. I absolutely loved it. You guys might've seen it in one of my thrift store hauls. It was only $1.99. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm actually gonna put the utensils inside of him so that I can incorporate him. He is such a cool piece and I've just always been wanting to use him. When I bought him, I was thinking about Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna put the utensils, which I just picked up. They're kind of like this copper colored um, utensils from Walmart. Once again, it was with all the other stuff that I've purchased. These were $1.97 and it's a, a place setting for eight, so perfect. All right, so I also picked up these napkins that were in, like I said, from Walmart, $1.97 for a pack of, I think, like 24. Um, I picked up a big variety pack of like the Dixie cups or whatever. Um, these, I like them because they're kind of like that coppery gold. They came with some like other Christmassy colors too. So obviously I'll have plenty of them for a while. Um, but because like I said, remember this is supposed to be disposable and this is supposed to be kid friendly and stuff like that for the most part. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place the napkins inside of the cup. That's something that I typically always, I feel like I always do that. I think it kind of looks pretty. The only bad thing is, is you can't overly see 
what's on the napkins when you do that, but I struggle with this. I know you can get napkin rings, but for me, when you're using disposable, I don't know if it would quite look good. I think I would save the napkin rings that I have for like my more formal Thanksgiving dinner tablescape. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, so let me show you how I go about doing this, um, just in case you are interested. Let me. So this is kind of like the the outcome, if you will. Um, and like I said, remember that this is disposable. This is not supposed to be fancy. Um, so, but it's kind of adds a little bit of color, adds a little bit of interest. So I just take the napkin and I open it up all the way. And I just basically do it like I would do tissue, putting it in a gift bag. I open it to the right side up though, and that's where I kind of uh, bring the corners together, like this. Fluff it up a little bit, and just place it in the cup, like so. Basically takes care of you know, everything that you would need as far as like, you know, food service or whatever. So you've got your plates, you've got your utensils, you have your um, napkins and cups. So now let's move on to some little bit more decorating. I think what I'm gonna need now is some, I think I'm gonna do some candles. Okay, so I placed some candles around. I'll show them to you in just a second. But I think on this end to pay tribute to like the Native Americans, um, I have this super cute little canoe, this super cute little Indian, and I have this adorable teepee. Um, all of this came from my mother-in-law. This was actually in a yard sale. I think this was her neighbor Kim's. Um, great name, right? <laughs> anyway, so I was like, when I saw that they were gonna be selling, I was like, I want that. And so this, and like I said, the Indian and the canoe also came from my mother-in-law too, thrifted. So let's see what this looks like on this end of the table. All right, guys, let me go ahead and show you what I have done. I think I'm pretty much done. Um, so you can see that I placed the super cute little teepee on this end. And I just think it looks so singing cute. And I went ahead and placed um, these pumpkin. These are the only thing that are not really disposable as far as place setting goes. These came from Walmart several years ago. I only everything is a bit scrunched kind of, as you can see. Um, but have no fear <laughs> because the table that I'm actually going to be placing this whole place setting on is a lot bigger than the, the table that I have here at the farmhouse. Um, I don't obviously have the chairs pushed in or anything like that because this was just totally practice, but I hope you guys have found some kind of inspiration to create your own Thanksgiving tablescapes, especially if you are on a budget and especially if you are trying to do it in more of a disposable way so that you don't have as much cleanup to do after Thanksgiving dinner so that you can have more time to spend with your friends and family or just hanging out, you know? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I got my mom's approval, so uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'll make sure um, and try and take some pictures of the actual event and how it actually turned out with the longer table to add to this video. But um, I hope you guys have an absolutely blessed Thanksgiving. I hope everything is just peaceful for you guys and wonderful. Um, right now is just the crazy year that we've had. Just take some time and just enjoy. Just take some time and enjoy the journey. And if you haven't already done so, I would love it if you would become a part of my YouTube family and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I would so greatly appreciate it if you guys would help me in this goal. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.